Hello everyone, Ransom True of Half Off here bringing you the news. I hope it's a lovely day whenever you see this, but let's get right into it. To kick off our show today, it's the time of year for an annual tradition here in America, the turkey pardoning. The tradition of eating turkey for Thanksgiving is far older than I am and is unlikely to go away anytime soon. Though, the Thanksgiving season is home to all hosts of traditions. One of the most popular and bizarre is the presidential turkey pardon. Every year, a turkey is pardoned by the president themselves, making them exempt from the turkey eating during Thanksgiving. This tradition first started in 1989, almost 32 years ago, with President George H.W. Bush when he issued a pardon onto a turkey in an effort to make some comedy in the light of animal rights activists picketing nearby. From that simple quip he made, a tradition was born. Many find tradition in other places, such as the movie theaters, which cover almost all of America. In an effort to better understand what movies are found appealing, we went out and asked Career Academy students their favorite movies of last month, a segment we're calling Last Month in Cinemas. Hello and welcome. My name is Gabriel Solomon and this is Last Month in Cinemas. Last month was October. This was a more spooky season for new movies to come out. So. Let's see what others thought about the new movies that came out. My favorite movie would probably have to be Halloween Kills. It was an interesting movie. I liked the different kills, the different techniques that was used, the camera stuff. I just thought overall it was a good movie. Um, I really liked Paranormal Activity The Next of Kin because it was really scary. It was weird. You had to like keep up with it. You had to watch it because you would miss little details. The ending was terrifying. The whole movie was just terrifying. and I love scary movies, so... Yeah, it fit right in. It was like perfect. I liked it. After we fell. Um, because it's about romance and I like romance movies. Alright, so I did watch Halloween Kills. So I'm not going to say that's my favorite movie, but I did find a favorite connect. So ready? Halloween Kills has Jamie Lee Curtis in it. One of my favorite Halloween movies is Psycho. In the movie Psycho, the original Psycho that was done back in the 1950s, Jamie Lee Curtis's mom is the one that gets killed in the shower. That her name was Janet Lee, and that is Jamie Lee Curtis's mom. So what a weird connect. Um, I really liked Halloween Kills, the Michael Myers movie, um, because it was really intense and it was really interesting, and it kept me on the edge of my seat. Uh, I'd say Venom, Let There Be Carnage is great. Okay. The harder they fall. Why? Um, because of that, to me, it, it seemed like it was different, and I wanted to try something new. Last week, I got to see the new Eternals movie from Marvel, and it was great. Because the characters were so amazing, they were very diverse. From um, it, it, it was just diverse, and the characters' relationships were interesting, and the plot was just good. And the action scenes were amazing. And, and the superpowers. The superpowers were also really cool. And surprisingly, the comedy was on point too. It's like some scenes were like really serious, but like others, it was just funny, you know? So let's get right into the statistics. 38% for Halloween Kills, 12% for Marvel's Eternals, 14% for Venom, Let, it, Let There Be Carnage, 12% for the new paranormal activity, 12% for after we fall, and 12% for harder they fall. There wasn't very much competition, but Halloween Kills wins at 38% this time. There were a decent amount of movies that came out last month. If you're interested in any of these movies, check them out for yourself. This was last month in cinemas, and we'll see you next month. While movies still dominate our culture, there has been a rising interest for TV shows and miniseries. In collaboration with PBS, several schools across Indiana have begun production of a segment for a miniseries which is set to be broadcast on PBS within Indiana and potentially outside of the state. We decided to visit New Tech Academy and investigate their production process for this amazing opportunity. Let's get right into it. I'm here at New Tech Academy looking into an awesome opportunity the Mass Media Department has right here. They're doing a show for PBS called To Be Honest, where they're going to look into America right now and make a segment based on it. Let's get right into it. I'm excited that we have high school students to represent and kind of creative media that would be showcased to PBS and other people. 
I know we're going to fo have a focus around um, youth innovation and like the American dream and analyzing films that represent what the American dream is to showcase a new medium towards them. I'm very excited for the PBS show. Um, I think the subject that we uh, decided to talk about is very unique and I guess some people don't really think about it that much. What amazing interviews from the students. But let's get right to the root of the brains behind this operation, their teacher, Mr. Smith. What is New Tech Academy planning for the To Be Honest show? So the To Be Honest show, can I start with what it is? Yeah, go ahead. So the To Be Honest show is a series that I was approached by um, a journalist about doing. And she has a grant to um, put these shows on PBS. And um, the schools are who she's really focusing on for the subjects of these shows. And the, the idea of To Be Honest is for the kids to be honest about what they're thinking, what they're feeling. Um, this year's uh, topic is Americana. And how Americana has kind of adapted itself based on the events of the past couple of years and, and how students now uh, see Americana compared to how maybe we see Americana or things like that. And uh, the topic that our school has chosen is the American dream. So it is kind of the idea of what this American dream is in 2021 versus what this American dream was in 1900 um, and kind of looking at how things have changed, things have shifted, but there's still this idea of the American dream and what that means for a young adult. So it's kind of an interesting uh, spot that we're in at New Tech because we have, this is the second class uh, that produces videos and things digitally. And because of that, some of the students have, you know, a lot of skills. They've done this for several years. So they, they, they bring a lot of skills to the table. Um, editing is really, really good skill. Filming is a nice skill. And uh, their idea development is, is bar none. So they, they have a lot more skills, I think, than other schools that are, maybe it's their first video class that they're making these in. Um, they, have, they have a lot that they bring to the table. And they're also, you know, the, the way that we teach here at New Tech is very open to um, going out in the public and talking to, to real individuals. So they're, they're in a better spot right away, um, just set up for the interviews and that kind of thing. It looks like New Tech has an awesome advantage compared to other participating schools. Very recently, we flew past a holiday with over 100 years of history behind it, Veterans Day. Originally called Armistice Day, Veterans Day is an annual holiday falling on November 11th, honoring those who have served in the military. Originally, the holiday marked the end of World War I, which, served, which ended on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Yet, even with a holiday to honor them, many veterans still suffered long after they made it back home. Organizations such as the Wounded Warrior Program exist to pick up the slack for many veterans, getting little to no support otherwise. So, honor the holiday and help out however you can. Speaking of honoring people, our final segment today is based around honoring a Career Academy student for their work. Recently, the graphic design class here at the Career Academy went out on a field trip to an event called TechFest following a class-wide effort to design posters for the event. We had a chance to talk to a couple of the students, including the designer of the winning poster designs. Let's get right into it. Welcome, my name is Gabriel Solomon and we're here at the Macmillan uh, Park Community Center and we're here to talk about the Tech Fest, an opportunity for students from the Career Academy in the digital design class. So let's talk to some of these students. Well, today I'm here because um, for graphic design at Anthus, we were instructed to um, design posters for this Tech Fest event and then um, it was a competition and Although I didn't win, I still want to see what's going on because I'm interested in technology. Um, I'm going into construction for my career and engineering is, um, and architecture, like those are similar, they're like um, good stuff to know for my career, but I'm also going to like, just on the side, I do want to learn more about technology. Okay, for like the background that I did, I kind of got it from like Star Wars, like the battleships when they like they fly off and move. Okay. Surprised because I saw, I saw their people, <laughs> like I saw the other people's designs, and it was actually pretty good. Now that we've interviewed the students, let's talk to the person behind all this, the director, Kurt Whited. Okay, so Tech Fest is a one-day celebration of STEM. Um, it's a day for students to show off their chops in science, technology, engineering, and math. 
It's also an opportunity to them for, to learn about Northeast Indiana and the opportunities uh, for future employment that are here in Northeast Indiana in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, this benefits them by letting them know what's available in the region uh, for employment. Um, it allows them to show off their skills to could be their future employers. Um, you know, we're trying to prevent the brain drain here in Northeast Indiana, and we want the kids to know what's available. You know, when you drive down the street and you see rural resultant on a building, we want them to know what resultant does. You know, when they see rural sourcing on a building, we want them to know what rural sourcing does. And that's the benefit here, that they know that they can get a good job here and they, when they're done with their schooling. Gabriel Solomon here at the 10th Annual Tech Fest, signing out. It was so nice meeting all these people. And I want to say one last thing. Remember, to think or sink. With that, we wrap up for the month of November. Marking the beginning of the holiday season, November is a month close to heart for many. It also holds the calm before the storm of the wintertime here in Indiana. Goodbye, and we hope to see you again in December.